Hey YouTube, Miles from Nexus Core here. I am bringing you my updated Dragon World uh, Gargantua or uh, DD Dragon Tribe slash Dragod deck profile. Um, been a little late on this because I've been actually like playtesting a lot uh, and discussing with my friend um, about whoops a lot of like builds and ratios. And I think I'm I, I I'm I'm pretty uh, confident with this one. Plus um uh. He, I've, I've been having, like, a lot of good uh, matches with it. Um, so uh, I thought, hey, it's finally ready for the channel. So here it is. Um, it's it's the Dragon World deck. The the buddy is Gargantua Dragon um, until D Gargantua Dragon comes out, which I'm super excited for. So uh, those guys, um, we run four regular Gargantua Dragon. Uh, in case you guys have not seen the older, I think there was only one other deck profile we did, but, um, so it's, it's worldless. It can be used with any flag, all flag. Um, it's call cost is to pay a gauge and put the top card of the deck into its soul. Then it has the ability, uh, exclusive to drag gods, which is G Evo. And that ability is that at the end of this card's battle, you may call up to one drag god monster from your hand on top of this card without paying the call cost. It's got double attack and soul guard. Um, so uh Jivo is really cool it's it might be my favorite like i should probably move this out um it might be my favorite like i guess mechanic or keyword ability that we've been given um just because of how much like it goes into my like aggro play style i i really enjoyed this deck so four grand to a dragon um then in the uh, in the in the what's it called the triple the triple impact set we got uh, the new Daybreak Roar Gargantua Dragon this one's pretty good too um, stats are a little lower uh, than other Gargantua it's a it's a six two file this one's a seven two four and this is more of an offensive deck anyway uh, again it can be used with all flags it's the same call cost um, it has G Evo as well but its ability is um, on attack if you have another DD Dragon Tribe on your field. Uh, you can draw a card. So this can help to, like, you know, you could potentially top deck into your um, next G Evo target, which has happened to me plenty of times, and it is great. So um, that's pretty cool. It's got move, too, so it can be used defensively. Uh, just a, it's a, it's a solid card. Um, so those are, like, the, the Gargas. These are the modes. We're still in size twos. We run two Gargantua Tempest, no, Gargantua Dragon Tempest mode. This card's a great finisher, or just great for the offensive push. It is a 10 to 5 It's got Penetrate, Triple Attack, and Soul Guard. Um, its call cost is to put the top, put a card from your drop zone into its soul and pay two gauge, but with G Evo, you seldom worry about that. And um, its abilities only activate on G Evo, so you don't want to hard call it, unless like you absolutely need to, uh, which, believe me, I've been there. Uh, so when it enters the field by G Evo, um, for this turn, it gains a crit. Then, if your card's attacked three times or more during this turn, it gets in another crit. So, if you can pull that off, which really isn't that hard, then you can have it swing for four crit triple attack with penetrate. So, if your opponent can't, you know, counter that, then they're pretty screwed. Uh, it also looks beautiful, like, in the in the buddy rare foiling. Um, then for another offensive card, and kind of control-y too, we run Gargantua Dragon Cyclone Mode. Uh, instead it's, it's a, it's an 828. It's a very like balanced card. I think in the anime, they were like, it's his most balanced form yet or ever something like that. Um, it's pay three gauge, put the top card of your deck into its soul. This card cannot be rest by card effect. So it's great against, um, uh, uh, what's it called? It's, uh, Astro Dragons cause they have that one rest spell. Um, plague if people are still using that. I mean, I actually did fight a guy and he had, um, what was it called? Uh, it's that one spell um, that like rests all cards in your on your opponent's field. Uh, I I can't remember the name, but um, I was able to like push uh, push against that by using this card because it just can't be rested. Um, so when it enters the field, destroy a monster on your opponent's field. Then if it entered by Jivo, destroy another monster on your opponent's field. Um, this doesn't happen at all. Like this is not all the. Uh, this does not happen. This doesn't happen all at the same time. So it's like, enter, destroy one. Okay, it entered by Jivo, destroy one again. So you can technically pick the same monster if it has Soul Guard or something. Uh, and it's got move, triple attack, and Soul Guard. So it's good for offensive um, as well as Tempest Mode. And then another card that uh, 
I'm still kind of fooling around with um, is uh, Gargantua Dragon Gatling Mode. This card recently came out. Um, it's a 7-3-3. It only has Soul Guard, uh, nothing else. It's a pay two gauge and put the top card of your deck into its soul. Um, but, you know, that's cool. Uh, when it, when this card attacks, you can choose and use one of the following three, but if it has a soul with G Evo, choose, uh, and use three times instead. So that basically means that of the three following skills, you can use any of them, a, a total, you can use however many you want to collect it three times. So, um, you can use the same one just three times in a row. It's either deal and damage to your opponent, draw, uh, destroy a card in your opponent's field or drop one of your opponent's gauge. So like, if you ha if this is like th this is th this is more of a situational card um like if your opponent's at 3 you know if your opponent has 3 life left and you can G Evo into this then just do it cuz that's that's effectively game right that's pop probably game um or uh or if they're at 6 and they know of an fire and you're feeling risky um or uh it's a first turn play and there's actually an OTK with it that um I've never done before but like and ftk but it's possible um and I, I can show it to you after this because odds are you will not not see it on camera um i don't think i'll ever go into it so um those are the offensive guys these are our resources uh we have gargantua dragon return mode it is a 626 it has move and soul guard it's pay two gauge and put the top card of your deck into its soul uh when this card enters the field drop the top three cards and put up to one deity dragon tribe monster from among them into your hand then if it entered by g evo put a card from among them into your hand so basically Basically, the first card you have to you add it has to be a DDT monster. So any monster in this deck, basically. But the second card you drop can be anything. So it is a it is effectively out of a three. It is a selective draw two. Um, so there's a lot of freedom. There are, it's a, it, it helps you get a lot of resources. Uh, just a really cool card altogether. Um, and because of that card, I did drop Sonic Mode to two. Uh, Sonic, you just. This deck draws and searches enough now. You don't need as much draw power as it used to have. Um, so it's a 7 2 10. It's pay 2 gauge and put the top card of your deck in, into its soul. Uh, it cannot be on the field, it cannot be returned to hand, and its abilities cannot be nullified, nullified by card effects. So it's pretty cool. Um, when it enters the field, you gain 2 life. Then if it entered by Jeevo, you get to draw 2 cards. It does move, counterattack, and soul guard. I really like the counterattack. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty fun to like just kind of, just, you know mess up your opponent's momentum with it um but and like return mode it's a really good yeah it and return mode make for really good first turn plays if you have them um <clears throat> then our size ones eat we run four garcat uh the original it's a 511 when it enters the field if you have another ddt on the field uh you can put the top card of your deck and no you put the top card of your deck into your gauge and draw a card uh it's not once per turn so you can keep calling them and if they somehow get bounced you can just recall them and use it again um so basically your resource engine really good card uh here's a new one that we run he's the the goodest of boys prudent guard dog which should have been kept at intelligent guard dog but i'm not going to complain it's a 4 one one uh you may only call this card once per turn um, when a drag out monster enters your field, you can check, you look at the top three cards of your deck, put one from them into your hand and put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. It only activates once per turn. So that can be when you G Evo or when you just call a drag god. So it's great for the first turn. It's great for any turn, even on your opponent's turn. Um, then it's other skill is when this card attacks for this turn, a DD dragon tribe on your field gets a crit. So when it attacks anything, just give anything else a crit. What I like to do is hold out on it and give a crit to um tempest mode so tempest is swinging with a five with five crit uh triple attack so that's fun and then we run one of the original Gardog. um it's a four two one its ability is when this card enters the field if you have another deity dragon charm on your field uh charge two um yeah put the top two cards of your deck into a gauge so uh the deck does have a bit of a gauge shortage and this card is kind of an answer to that and i only run one because of a spell that allows me to keep looping it so um we'll go into that a bit later but you do not need to run more than that and you don't really want to put Prudent at four because it can only be called once per turn. So drawing into it is effectively a dead draw. Um, under our spells, we run three Gargantua switch mode. You don't really need four. Um, it's not super needed anymore. Uh, it is pay one gauge, counter G Evo, call up to one Dragon monster from your hand on top of a Dragon monster and you feel without paying its call cost. So... You can use this in response to anything you can use on your opponent's turn. You can use it in response to, like, your opponent destroying one of your drag odds because 
you know, when they cast a spell to destroy a card, it doesn't get destroyed yet, so you can counter and then call it, and then it whiffs. You can use it when your opponent attacks your Dragon, and then you evolve that Dragon, and then um, the target whiffs, because the target's no longer... The attack whiffs, because the target's no longer there. You can use it in tandem with Prudent Gardog to trigger its skill uh, on your turn or your opponent's turn. Um, it has a lot of practicality. Uh, just overall a really good card. I, I don't I, I don't want to run four because I don't want to see this card over my other dry gods, especially my base gargas. So um, uh, if four works out for you, by all means, it's may, it might just be my luck. Uh, here we have dry gods shine. It's a uh, really cool looking spell. Um, pay one life. Okay, I just want to say I've been watching. I just finished the uh, Godzilla like anime Netflix trilogy, and uh, it was really cool. So y'all should watch it if you have Netflix. Um, it's kind of like psychological. It's really interesting. Um, has a very like interesting perspective on Godzilla as a figure. But um, <clears throat> uh, the the you know if y'all seen it like this color reminds me of episode three with Ghidorah, uh, which was terrifying by the way. Watching that at midnight was not very fun. Um, anyway, it's pay one life, uh, and you get to choose and use one of the following two, but you can only cast this card once per turn. So the following two are either put one Dragod, either put up to one Dragod, no, Deity Dragon Tribe item from your deck into your hand and shuffle, or put up to two Deity Dragon Tribe monsters with different card names from your drop zone into your hand. Great card. You can only use it once per turn, so I do not have it at a four of, and you can just keep re, you can keep recycling, um, like Garcats. A fun play is, like, call a Garcat, call a Garcat over that, uh, then call, like, uh, Gardog, you know, get your gauge, and then you can call, like, Gargantua Dragon or something, and then you, um, cast this card, grab back Gardog and Garcat, call Gardog, get the gauge, call Garcat, get the gauge, and the draw. So you can just keep looping resources. Pretty cool. Uh, and searching out items is super important in this deck, because you want your items. Um, then we run only two Gar Oracle. This was the, uh, like, draw spell. That came out in SBTO one Again, the deck draws and searches enough now that you do not need to run too many of these. I was actually bricking with this card at three because the deck drew so much. That late game, uh, I, when I wanted to see like more Gevo targets or something, this was just becoming a dead draw. So, two of for me. You can only cast if you have a Deity Dragon Tribe on your field. Uh, pay one gauge, draw two cards. Then if you have a Dragon on your field, you gain two life. You can only cast this card once per turn. So just great card. Um, it's effectively what Sonic Mode is. Just, you know, a spell. Um, but yeah, it, yeah, only two of. It's just not super necessary. Uh, then here's that spell I was talking about earlier. Uh, Gar Come On. I really like this spell. Um, it's also got Yuga about to hit a sick dab. Uh, counter, put the top card of your deck into your gauge. Then, call up to one or one size, one or less DD Dragon Tribe from your drop zone by paying its call cost. So the idea is, like, you have your Gardog. Let's say you call, you know, Garcat over it. You get your shit. And then, Gardog's in drop. Then you cast Garcomon. So you're at two, three, now four gauge from this spell. You get Gardog. That gives you two more gauge. So you get six gauge just from uh using three cards so that's pretty cool um and uh just in case like your opponent attacks prudent guard or something and you weren't ready to see him go you can recall it uh i wish this worked for garga but unfortunately not that would be a little too good but it's okay it's still a great card um so then we run two dragod var uh this card's great um especially against stuff like blood sect uh basically anything with soul guard honestly or just anything that like stacks a ton of soul like a thora um its cast cost is to drop a soul from a card on your field and pay one gauge so that works out really well when you're g evoing a lot because you have a ton of soul built up counter choosing using the following two um also you can use this card as many times as you want like you can cast as many it's not a once per turn um Choose a monster on your opponent's field, drop all souls from that card and destroy it, or destroy a card in your opponent's field, and if you do, draw. Um, I think it's super cool because it says destroy a card, not just destroy a monster. So you get a draw off of it. Um, yeah, only if you destroy the card, though. Uh, but um, it, it just helps to get rid of items. It helps to get rid of, like, set spells that might matter. Uh, so it's, it's not 
limited to monsters, which I think is really awesome. And I only run it into two of because I don't really want to see it that often. Uh, it's not, like, super necessary. Um, uh, Link Dragon Order, they have Aguito, which you can't drop the souls from, so it's not a big deal. Uh, An Astro Dragon, and, like... Uh, Blood Sect. Well, Blood Sect also has that set spell. Yeah, you can destroy the set spell with this card. That's pretty cool. Um, so that's an out to it. Uh, I'm trying to think of like other decks I've played against recently. I think you can destroy Fairy Tales. Is that what they're called? Fairy Tale? Folk, folk Tale. I think you can destroy Folk Tale's item, which is like a big deal. Um, I don't remember if the item is Soul Guard, though. But if it does, you can also drop all their... No, no, it's pick a monster to drop all the soul. So, maybe. I've only played against it once, but it was... No, twice, but it was really obnoxious. So, um, I'd like to find an out to that deck. But yeah, two of. Uh, speaking of two ofs, we run two guard down. This is a new spell. It's great. Uh, normally, it's pay two gauge and pay two life. Choose up to three cards on your opponent's field. And for this turn, they get minus 5k power, 5k defense, and minus three crit as well. Um... This is awesome because you can pick anything, including like items. So, uh, and it's up to, it's just, a, it's a really good loud voice where you don't need to discard at all. The biggest thing is the crits. Um, Cause you can just like not let your opponent damage you at all. It just completely says no. Um, but it's a hefty cost, but you may cast this card uh, without paying its cast cost if you have a drag out on your field with two or more souls. So that's not too hard to have. And that's only why I that's why I only run it a two of. Um, I don't want to see it too often when like it, you know, would cost more or when I don't have that drag out with two soul. Because typically your first G Evo, you're only gonna have a monster with one soul. No, never mind. That's wrong. You're, you're gonna have like a two soul in the field. But um this is more of like a late game card to use. It's also a great counter to uh Farness. So, um, yeah, I really enjoy it. So, yeah, get that card. It's cool. Um, then we got three Drago Trap. This card saved my life more times than um, anyone or anything ever has. Uh, pay one gauge and pay two life to cast it. Um, not that bad of a cost, considering all the heat. Okay, um, my aunt called in the middle of this, which apparently interrupts the camera, which is obnoxious. Not my aunt calling, the camera. Um, she's great. Uh, but, uh, I guess I'll ask Richard to, like, clip the two, to, uh, you know, attach the two videos together. Sorry, it's been a long day. I'm really tired. Um, but, uh, fuck. Yeah, uh, we were on Drago Trap. Um, so it's pay one gauge, pay two life. Choose a card in your opponent's field, and for this turn, the card, chosen card cannot attack. So you don't rest it. You don't prevent it from standing. You just can't attack. Uh, it's great against Vanity. It's great against, um, Agito or like LDO in general, mainly Agito. It's great against the mirror match. It's great against Matt. It's just a great card in general. I love it. Definite three of. Um, then we run two Fighting Emperor Dragon Shield. Uh, I like this card. People have said like, oh, maybe not run it because you only get its benefits if you have a drag out on the field. But um, like, I guess you could run basic blue dragon shield if you really want, but I don't know. Um, running this at a two of makes it not a big deal. And uh, recently protecting my drag odds and seeing my drag odds has not been a big issue. I have the ratios pretty figured out and my deck seldom bricks, so not a big deal. Um, I'm definitely going to keep running this card. Uh, you can only cast it if your opponent during your opponent's turn, uh, during an attack in your opponent's turn, and if you have a DD giant trap in the field. So you can, ha you can have a center, um, and I like that part a lot. Uh, nullify the attack, then if you have a drag out on your field, put the top two cards of your deck into the gauge, and you gain one life. So, gain two life. So, pretty cool. Um, it just gives you some really nice resources in case you're out. Like, you burn them all off in your, uh, like, in your turn, and then, you know, you want to make plays on your opponent's turn, but you can't, and then this card comes in, you're like, ha, never mind. Um, and then we run three bloody, buddy block. This card's cool. Uh, it's a generic, it's a promo, um... You might get them just for, I believe you get them just for, like, participating in your locals. So, uh, try and get these cards when you can. Um, it's pay one gauge to cast. Counter choosing use one of the following two. I have a lot of those types of cards in this deck. That's funny. Um, for this turn, the next damage you take is reduced by three. Cool. Uh, 
Or if your opponent's cards attacked four times or more during this turn, for this turn, you will not take damage from attacks. So the play with this is that you have like something with anything with Soul Guard really and move. So like, let's say for perfect example, uh, Sonic Mode. So you have Sonic Mode in your center. Um, and this is just like a good early game or even late gameplay. You have Sonic Mode in your center. Sonic Mode is two soul because you just GE vote. So it takes one attack to remove one soul, another attack to remove another soul, a third attack to kill the card. Then they make their fourth attack and then you can cast this immediately. So they've attacked four times. Um, now you don't take no damage. So like, unless it's Link Dragon Order, there's really no reason to attack anymore. So you basically just told your opponent, hey, screw you, you know, eat it. Then we move on to our items. Um, also, I, I I don't know if this is like this has worked as a three of for me because um, even even when I don't have that like combo, um, the damage is still really nice. I mean, the the damage prevention is still really nice, and the reduction of three is pretty cool too. Uh, and it's low cost, so it's really not a big deal. But if you don't like it at three like if it's not working out for you you could run another guard down or take one out for a uh, fighting emperor dragon shield or another nullifier or just like anything else that's not at like you know that's not at the ratio you feel comfortable with so it's 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 kind of lenient um yeah i i like it so items i only run three deity dragon sword garchris because it is the your, their best item you do not need garblade anymore garduce isn't that great none of the other gar x's are that gar weapons are that um good uh i have some ideas of them in like budget decks but i haven't really gotten around to starting that because life is kind of shitty right now um it's pay one gauge and pay one life to equip like almost every item these days it feels like uh if you have a drag god monster on your field this card and all drag god on your field gain 4k and they cannot be destroyed and their abilities cannot be nullified by card effects so it's just really good you only run it a three of because you can search it out with drag god's shine and you don't want to see it as a dead draw later um you could try it at a three of and then add in a gar blade for uh offensive i used to do that and it wasn't really working out for me so i just like to keep it at a three of um, even at three of, I do st still tend to see it as a dead draw. And then we have our impacts. Uh, we actually run two different impacts. The first one is um, Gargantua Buster Break. Uh, you may only cast this card if you have a drag out on your field, and that is it. Very low requirement. And you pay three gauge, uh, you gain three life, draw three cards, then, I don't know why I just lost focus, then destroy all cards in your opponent's field and deal three damage to your opponent, then end the final phase. You can't cast another um impact on top of this card so like you couldn't use this twice so it can kill your opponent it can wipe their board or just disrupt their setup and it gives you plenty of resources and life so just a great card i don't like turning it more than one because um uh a lot of the times that i see it i actually don't have the gauge this deck does burn through gauge a lot um and uh it's it's like it, it, it's 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 just a tech it's very situational it's like hey um you know resource is cool uh but like i don't know you could run it a two of if you want uh the other reason i keep it out of one of it is so i can also run one of dd gargantua punisher um and it's because it got this new foiling that just looks gorgeous no uh it's it, this is a really good finisher it's only two gauge and um yeah, you only cast this card if your opponent's life is five or less. Neither you nor your opponent has a monster on the center, and you have a dragon monster on your field. Uh, it's a lot, but it's not hard to get with this deck. Um, you pay only two gauge, deal five damage to your opponent. This card cannot be nullified, and its damage cannot be reduced. Um, so just good finisher. And you only need one because, you know, this isn't your main finisher of the deck. It's not. It's 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 just another option. Um, so that's the deck. Oh, sideboard. Where? Where did my... Oh, there it is. Sorry about this. Sideboard. Here they are. Okay. Uh, yeah. So my sideboard cards are two Gargantua Sight Combat Deity Hall. Um, it is a set spell, and its ability is Deity Dragon Tribe in your field cannot be rest by your opponent's card effects. So that's good for... Narcolepsy! That's the name of the spell. Um, yeah, it's good for Narcolepsy. It's good against Astro Dragons. Just a good card um, uh, in general, but not that many decks rest anymore so this isn't something you would main deck um so it's just a nice you know two of in the um sideboard uh depending on your locals like 
me not even need to run this. I do because Jose has been using my Astro Dragon deck in a lot of the fights we have. So big deal um, that I have this card as sideboard. Then it's other abilities counteract during your opponent's turn. If you have a DD Dragon Tribe, if you have a DD Dragon Tribe item equipped, you may put this card from the field into the drop zone. If you do, the next damage you take is reduced by three. So that's cool. Way to kind of keep you alive. Um, you know, it's like a buddy block. Uh, then we run to Garbreak. This is your mat counter. Um, it is a spell. For this turn, the critical of all DD Dragon Tribe on your field cannot be reduced by your opponent's card effects. Great to use with Tempest Bust with a Tempest mode. Um, and when a size two or greater DD Dragon Tribe monster on your field attacks, destroy a card on your opponent's field. Note that it says destroy a card. So you can destroy their item. You can destroy their set spells. Yada yada yada. Great card. Um, I only really use it against Matt though. Uh, a lot of the other decks I fight against have like a way ways to get over effect destruction. Then we run three loyalty. This card's super important. Pick them up while they are at a whopping six dollars. Um, Unless, you know, in case they go up, but like, just, just get loyalties. It's a great sideboard card. Uh, pay one gauge, choose and use one of the following three. One, for this turn, the next damage you take is reduced by two. Drop a, drop a soul for monster on the field. Or for this turn, your opponent cannot call more than three monsters. This, that last part is great. It can counter God Punk, it can counter LDO, it can counter Dragods, because, you know, uh, G Evo counts as one. This, this ass hat at my local shut me down completely because I couldn't G Evo with this. He used this card and I just couldn't G Evo. I just sat there and I was like, okay, it's your turn. Um, so yeah, a lot of decks. So get that card. It's great. Uh, then I run one obstruct. Um, it is a, it's another promo. Uh, it's kind of cool. Um, you may only cast a card during your opponent's turn. Oh wait, real shit. Wow. I might've used this on camera. I misplayed with it then. Ah, uh, it's no big deal, because I've only used it, like, as my last spell. Cool. Um, so it's a moderate misplay. I apologize in advance, or whatever. Um, you pay one life, and then counter... Oh yeah, so no gauge, that's already awesome. Uh, for this turn, for this and the next turn, each player cannot draw cards by their own card effects. So the idea is that, like, you get off all of your draws, and, like, all of your... It, it you know, stuff that's, like, check top three, like, return mode, um... This card doesn't apply. That's not a draw. That's adding cards. That's checking and adding. But stuff like Gar Oracle. Uh, so you do stuff like that, like Gar Cat, Gar Oracle. You get all your draws off, Sonic Mode, whatever. And then um, you cast this card and just shut down your opponent. Um, it works against a lot of decks. So uh, it's I, I think it's still limited at one. Um, but yeah, you keep it at a one of. Some decks main deck it. Uh, I sideboard it because... Not all decks I fight against do that. And then um, another fun card to have is Lost World. This is the flag. Uh, yeah, you guys saw my Lost video. Um, but we'll go over it again just in case because that was like months ago. Wow, I was reading 60s Spider-Man back then. Now I'm in the turn of the night. I'm on 89 right now. Wow. Um, what a long way we've come. Uh, you cannot choose Lost World as your initial flag, and all flags you have, and all flags, and all flags may have up to two of this card in the deck. So it's it's literally limited by its own name, by its own ability to two. Um, but you can sideboard it also, so you don't need to main deck it. Um, you may only use the you may use Lost World cards. This card gets the abilities of all flags chosen by below. Of all, why can't I read today? Jesus. I normally can't read. What am I talking about? This card gets the abilities of the flag chosen by Be Lost. This is Be Lost. Be Lost. At the end of your opponent's turn, choose, in, uh, choose one of your flags, and you may pay two gauge. If you do, put this card on top of the chosen card. Remove your deck from the fight. Shuffle your lost deck and put it in the fight. You may only use Be Lost once per fight. So basically, it's what lets you go into your lost deck. And um, I don't want to show my lost deck on this video. My lost deck also technically isn't done so um i might do a separate lost deck video because lost decks are largely the same across all your decks except for like dimension dragon maybe or if you have some wild build that i would love to see um that like combos in with your decks so that's cool but uh yeah i only sideboard it because this deck isn't like a deck that needs to go into lost world it's mainly for hard count it's mainly for like hard matchups like eldigo which heals a ton so i go into that lost spell that's like make your opponent's life 10 
um, and uh, uh, auto D, not auto deity. What are they called? Electro deity because they have massive defense and. While hitting their defense has become a little bit easier, it's still difficult, and Lost World basically just shoots right over it. So, cool card. Um, you don't need to earn it out of two of. Uh, I, I, I do it for, like, competition, basically, for, like, the, the competitive level. So, that is my sideboard. Um, I'm not sure what I'll change with the next set, but uh, I'm going to probably be doing some deck testing once that comes out. It's in, like, a month anyway, so it's no big deal. But, yeah, um... Uh, if you liked this, you know, now saying leave like is dumb. Um, like, you know, let me know, uh, um, leave some comments about like suggestions or questions you may have. I will for sure get back to you when I'm at work on my break being depressed because my job sucks. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I love, um, discussing like buddy fight builds and uh helping people with buddy fight builds and i really like drag odds so um if y'all have any recommendations or any suggestions or anything just you know hit me up in the comments so peace out youtube